Can you do a backhand cast? Tommy, he turned, he's going down the beach. Smashing bait. He's turning, turning. Go backhand. Turning, he's turning, he's turning, he's turning. Hit it. The big fish was cruising down the side of the beach and Jörn was desperately trying to get a line across the wind, which was proving very difficult. Didn't see it. Chip. You might turn around again. Further down the beach, we'd intercepted another big fish cruising along the shoreline and hitting bait fish. Whoa! This one was giving me a serious workout. Yeah, <laughs> just trying to get some purchase. It was beginning to dawn on me that this fish might be a lot larger than I thought it was. Whoa! It's good. Come on, turn your head. Whoa! Every time I seemed to be making ground, I then lost it again. And amidst all the old man noises, the line began to sing. Come on. That is a strong fish. Here we go. Here, that's exactly how I went forward. One, two, red. Okay, real now. Stay on in there. That's exactly how I went forward. One, two, red. Okay, real now. Stay on in there. Come on. That's a nice one. Thank you, Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I can see him. <laughs> I can't do slow and steady. By this point, I was getting kind of knackered. However, I thought this fish might possibly be near the meter mark. Yes! <laughs> I told you, I told you! Hold on, my man. There he is, buddy. Oh, look at him. Look at him. That's a bus. Turned out to be a stunning fish of just over a meter. I was so chuffed. As we came down the beach, we found a pack of GTs feeding on bait fish in a little depression. Yeah, yeah, watch the bow wave there, boys. They're feeding hard in this bay here. Here we go, Dave. Dave, sit again. Good trip, 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 trip. Yeah, got him. Here we go, get him. Oh! He was, he was running so fast towards us.
Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Hit him, hit him. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Full drag, still taking line. <laughs> That was a great take. It came flying across the flat. It's the best when it's that side on you. That's it. Now, real now. Don't get too hot. Perfect, perfect. Exactly like that. Yes, sir. I want GTs in hands. In hands. In hands. Dave. No trout set. <laughs> no trout set. <laughs> no trout set. If he's more or less ready, Brent. Bring him to me, Lord. Bring him to me. Yes! Yes! It was shaping up to be quite a morning. What a beautiful spot. So we're way up on the north now. This is the north of Providence, the banks. So there's a huge drainage. All that side of the island drifts all the way down here and then spills out over these white sandbanks. Great spot to intercept you. He's not drunk a kite. And we're going to stake out, hang around a bit, and keep an eye. Little shark just sliding out there. Preparation. With the high spring tides, the flats were too deep to wade, so we decided to go offshore and try for sailfish. It wasn't long before we raised some to the teaser. Well, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Listen to that thing go! There's a whack in him. I don't know how many first came up on the teaser. Felt like they all had to go to the teaser. You got a fair chunk of backing off of there. Yeah. There's a fly line. Yeah, boys, when he comes in, he gets in here and gets pretty close. When you're on this, I'll get that rod in the rack if we can. Just so it's out the way. There we go. And then we do the dancey dance if we need to. It's perfect. Now you can slam across the top there for me. So, yes. The fish are taking an awful lot of line. And David was going to have to spend some time bringing it all back in again. Okay, tell me how you feel. Hardly <laughs> oh. knackered. That's an understatement. Oh. Dave, try to swerve, swim him around. Don't put him up when we're sliding. Try and swerve his him to the right, yeah? We come up over it. Let's try land him on the windward side. So come to the back, come to the back, people. Watch this. Watch this.
Yes! Here we are, boys. This is the selfie. Yeah, buddy. What the? Sailfish are incredibly powerful and majestic creatures and there's nothing more stunning than just watching it drift back into the blue. Zapped him like this already. Just let him go down. Then once you put that pulling tension, that you can up the back Stay ready, stay ready, stay ready. Get that one layer. Get it, it. Yeah! It never ceases to amaze me how many selfish we can tease up to just one teaser out of a tender boat. Going crazy. <laughs> perfectly. Whoa. Done. I was so worried. You hit it perfect, so perfect. I thought you were going to start jumping straight at the bike. Yeah. All I could see was you just down there going like this, and I could just sit in my mind's eye and just accelerate it. Yeah, you and what I want to do is get you up onto the front, onto the coolest, and then we're going to sit at the back here. Yeah. Hold on one second. I'm just going to come to the side. Keep your ropes up nice and hard for me. Okay, spin. Spin the other way. Here we go. <laughs> now it was Yearn's go to do the pump and wind. up above my head, probably grab fly line and leader and then I'll leader him in. Just drop a little bit of slack for me in case he starts going crazy again. Yeah. He's probably going to come up to the right and he's going to swivel around the bow. Y'all keep reeling, stay tight to him, good. Hello mate! Give you slack. Yes! That's <laughs> where the Bentley comes into it. So <laughs> much room for activity. You love this boat, do you? Oh, I love this. And after Brendan's expert tutelage, we watched another one drift back down to whence he came. Shortly afterwards, as we were in the blue water, we came upon a pod of milkfish, so we thought we'd better have a crack at them as well. It's tight. <laughs> Milky! Sadly it was not to be, but when out in the blue, it's not only about the fishing. And we marvelled at watching a pair of mantas play. Pretty fish! Look at that! Look at that! That's a lot of blue. Okay. Oh. Steady. Oh, steady. Big, big bow. One afternoon on the high tides, we decided to go and do some bomby bashing, and there was any number of different species to target. Good. 
Grouper is such fabulous fish and they really do try and pull your arms off. There's a big channel on the other side there. So we're kind of staking out. So I've arrived at my destination. I'm just gonna stake out here a little bit further away from the actual white sand. So if they come across it, then they won't see me. Give it the sniper shot if he comes over the white sand. In this low light, this is the best way to try and spot fish, especially on a dropping tide. I have a little friend here, come and join me. Really sweet little turtle. Hey buddy. Been here a little while, the tide's dropped out by about two, three centimeters. So, um, beginning to, to look pretty good. Just gotta have patience. A lot of this game is stop, watch, and wait. So this is what happens every time I go for a walk with Tim. Tim took me over to the channel and we decided to do some blind casts off the side. But sadly, there wasn't anybody at home. We went to go and check out a finger flat and Dave found a fish hanging on the edge of a ray and had the best hookup of all time. Well done! Well done, Dave! <laughs> that was good! That was classic! Run backwards and then trip over. And keep while you're underwater. That's one to add to the archives, Dave. Underwater hookup. Winch him in, Dave. He was dark, dark fish. That's a lovely, lovely fish. Ray Rider. Ray Rider. See you, bud. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> I need some fresh water now. He was sat there on the corner of the ray. Pulling fish off rays on Providence just never gets old. Well, chaps, it's the last afternoon on Providence and we are staked out to surf. Got the island direct behind us. Tim and Yearn over there. Dave over there. We are staked out waiting for the biggest GTs. This is a this is a well-known hotspot for big guys. So we've just got to keep our eyes really carefully peeled. Float in off the ocean here. For ice skin. We saw a couple of fish, but we didn't get any shots, sadly. And once again the trip is drawing to an end. And I'd had a fabulous time. <laughs>